The episode starts with Shiva telling I won't thank Anika. OM asked Rudra about his relation with Sumaya. Sumaya told him whatever be the relation but guys just want one thing. Meanwhile, Shiva and Anika were speaking against each other. Boys vs girl gang kind of stuff were shown. Prior to this, Anika asked, Shall I get water for you? Shiva asks her not to think. Anika replied him that I have to do Bilo's marriage preparations. He told her that just my daddy calls me this. She asked what? He says Bilu and she say him that I don't want to call you Bilu as I know just your daddy calls you Bilu. He recalls everyone's words and says whatever happened, I wanted to say. Anika told him that I understood as I was such a donkey. He replied yes and says so many medicines and many signs, it's clear, I did not understand this, after seeing many things in front of me, I'm sorry for everything. She tells those who are ill, say anything and that's why I think why your family bears your misbehavior because you are mad. Then, a comical they argues and everyone sees the house shaken. Shiva shouts shut up. Ishana is leaving and thinks she left expensive watch by falling in emotions and stops seeing the showpiece and says I should take this as shagun from in-laws. OM saw her and calls out Bella and she says I heard this name somewhere as it's my name. She turns and sees OM. She saw OM and OM asked hi why you were here? She replied him that she told him that actually, she came to meet him as she heard the news about your brother on TV, so I thought if you were with me in my problems, I should be with you in your difficult time. He thanked her and asked what happened to your hand? She replied it is wound. He calls Ridhima to make her meet Bella. Ishana worries and hides as OM told Ridhima that he wanted her to meet Bella as she saw Shiva's news and came to meet me. She says I wanted you to meet Mela. She disappeared and he says even Bella disappeared. Dottie asked where is Anika? Rudra says Anika went to Shiva's room, he is going to thank her as it's difficult thing and he needs time. Dottie says it's good day today and Shiva and Anika will change, marriage will happen well. Anika and Shiva argue. Dottie, O.M., and Rudra look on and both Anika and Shiva were fighting. Dottie tries to calm them down. Pinky ties the thread to Shiva's pick. Shakti and what is she doing? Pandit asked her to tie the thread to Shiva's hand. And she says he is like you and he won't let me tie. It's Wi-Fi times. It's fine to tie on the thread. He told Pandit is coming to tell a good Mahurat for Shiva and Tia's marriage. Pinky says yes, Pandit said Shiva will have good future and long life after marrying Tia, but it's strange, he got saved now because of Anika. Shiva, O.M., and Rudra have tea, sitting at poolside. OM tells Shiva about special tea killed, 
served in clay cup. Shiva says I just drink coffee, but I will have tea now. Rudra says killed killed and they laugh. Anika is annoyed thinking of Shiva. She says it's good work got over. Priyanka comes and asks her to come. Priyanka gets Anika to girl's room. Anika sees Sumaya, Ridhima, and Tia. Tia asks Anika did Shiva say thank you. Shiva says she is mad and calling me mad, I will never say thanks to her. Ridhima says boys are arrogant, they can't say thanks. OM says you can say thanks, keep ego at a side, Anika is your angel, she saved your life, your attitude is the problem. Anika says he has tons of attitude as if he bought attitude in wholesale, sorry Tia, I had to say this about your future husband, but it's true. Shiva asks them to tell Anika to talk well, don't know her upbringing. Sumaya says it's problem of upbringing, girls are stopped for everything and boys are allowed to do everything, girls are asked to forgive everyone, girls are ready to melt. Rudra says Rumi is not melting, just ice creams melts, not girls. OM asks who is Rumi now, stop imagining. Rudra says no, she really exists. OM says I don't get sleep if I don't say sorry, just say thanks to her Shiva. Priyanka says some people need time to realize and admit it. Shiva says I'm not interested in thanking her. Anika says I'm not interested in receiving his thanks, I believe in savings like I save water, money, and electricity, I saved his life, what's the big thing? Shiva says that's the big deal, girls are like that, they look innocent from far and are something else from close. Rudra says right, even Sumaya looks innocent, but is not. They ask Rudra what's his connection with Sumaya. Sumaya says the connection is just in the beginning, then guys just want one thing. Anika asks what and looks at other girls. She asks to tell me. She makes a face and says oh, those cheap guys. Sumaya says at first, they show they are interested in soul, but boys are interested in our body, they are so mean. We should also get mean. Rudra says I'm not mean. Rumi was standing in front of me. OM asks Shiva to say thanks to Anika and asks Rudra to say sorry to Sumaya. Tia says we should clean aura and have positive thoughts. Shiva is so caring. All guys are not same. Shiva will realize his mistake and thank Anika, I will send Raiki. Anika gets confuses about Raiki, and asks will you go home and send that by courier. Tia says N.O.P., it's our thoughts and you just see Shiva will thank you. O.M. and Shiva ask Rudra to say sorry to Sumaya. Rudra asks Shiva to say thanks to Anika first. Anika says don't take SSO's name now, else I will get bad dreams. 
The girls ask SSO. Anika says Shiva sing Obiroi. Shiva says don't take her name now.